Hey, it's Rihanna. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make our family favorite tater tot casserole. So ever since I started having to make dinner like one night a week um, growing up in my family, I have made tater tot casserole. I learned the recipe from my best friend Annie's mom um, when I was like a junior in high school, I believe. And it's a pretty simple recipe and I'm gonna show y'all how to do it. So the first thing you need to do is preheat your oven. Um, I cook mine on 375. And then get the meat browning. This is one pound of ground turkey, but you can use ground hamburger if you like. Um, I just prefer turkey because it's less calories and fat. And then the other ingredients that you'll need are um, two cups of shredded cheese. It's like whatever kind you like. We use Colby, um, Colby Jack. Um, then you need one regular size bag of tater tots and either a family size can or three of the um, 10.5 ounce cans of cream mushroom soup. I use the 98% fat free, um, once again, for calorie sake. Um, it tastes just fine with that version. You don't have to have the full fat version. And then I have a mixing bowl to make it easier to mix everything up before you put it in the casserole dish. So you want to brown the meat. all the way through. While you're browning the meat, you can go ahead and start mixing the cream of mushroom soup, the tater tots, and the cheese together um, in your large mixing bowl. Once the meat is brown, you want to make sure you drain the meat, especially if you're using hamburger because it's going to have lots of grease in it. Um, turkey doesn't usually put off very much depending on the um, like percentages. So drain it if you need to, and then you're going to add it to your potato cheese mixture. Whenever you're mixing the meat and the potatoes and everything together, it doesn't have to be thoroughly mixed because you are gonna put it in the casserole dish, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and then when you place it in the casserole dish, I don't grease it usually. Um, it's pretty easy for me to clean my casserole dish, but if you are maybe using one that you know sticks really bad or um, you wanna make sure it's easy to clean, you can lightly grease your casserole. You want to place that into your preheated oven and bake it at 375 for about 45 minutes or until the tear tots are cooked thoroughly and the cheese is nice and bubbly. While that's cooking, I do just want to say that this is something that can be easily adaptable. You can add or take away things really easily. You can make changes to help with calories or fat content, things like that. You can use less cheese, more cheese, low fat cheese. Um, I've even um, considered doing it as a breakfast where you add um, like ground breakfast sausage and with the potatoes could be like hash browns that could be really good. So there's lots of variations that you can do to this and make it your own. Maybe add onions or green peppers. The options are pretty much limitless. You can just use your imagination. And I know there's a ton of recipes for this on YouTube, but this is just the version that we make and I thought I would share it with y'all today. A few other things you wanna take into account are your own oven. Um, I know that some people cook theirs at 350 and it only needs 30 minutes. 
but my oven and the way that I prefer our, our casserole, um, I do require it to be at a higher temperature and cooked for a little bit longer. I don't like for my tater tots to be even the slightest bit crunchy. I want them to be fully cooked, um, soft all the way through. So that's gonna be a personal preference, of course. Okay, so after 45 minutes, you can check it. I think it needs a couple more minutes to golden up a little bit, but this beast over here will not He's hungry, he wants it now. So here it is. He says the tear tots are golden enough. And he's ready, he's ready, he's ready to eat. So that's how you make tear tot casserole. Let me know down in the comments below if you try out this recipe or if there's another recipe you would like for me to try. Subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>